Hi there, this is Dr. Tunis Jr. and welcome to another Hunt for Wellness blog. Today I'm going to be discussing something very important about your health, yet I bet most of you have never even thought about it, and many of you probably have this. What I'm talking about today is parasites and parasite infections. Now before you write this off and think that this may not apply to you, let me share with you a little secret. According to a recent study, over 85% of North Americans have some sort of parasitic infection. Some experts believe that it's as high as 95%. In my office, when people come in for testing, almost every single person has at least one parasite. These are people struggling with GI issues, fatigue, depression, hormonal imbalances, and inability to lose weight. So you're probably asking yourself, how in the heck do I get a parasite infection? Well, if you eat pork, fish, other uncooked meats, travel out of the country, or simply have an animal or a pet, you are more susceptible to a parasitic infection. Parasites are organisms that live off their hosts, that host being you and me, and mimic our lives. They suck our energy, they utilize the nutrients in our body, and they eat the food that we consume. Now they do this all under the radar without us ever knowing they're there. They do this very specifically not to get caught. They're like any other organism out there. They want to survive and thrive. And if you knew they were there, you would do what you could to get rid of them. In fact, many times people can live with a parasite for years and years and years and not even know they're present. I recently read an article about some World War II uh, veterans who were put into a prisoner war camp in the Far East. Uh, they contracted some parasites, and up to 20 years later, they still had some of those parasites living inside of them. So you can see this could be something that you contracted yesterday, or something that you contracted many, many years ago. So you may ask yourself, if parasites are this prevalent, why, ha why haven't I heard about them before? Why haven't my doctor talked about them? Why haven't I seen them on the news in a more prevalent mannerism? And the reason is, simply, most parasite testing out there is not only not sensitive enough, but just inaccurate as far as finding the different organisms. Too many times we'll go to our doctors, get tested, and be told negative results, and therefore doctors dismiss it, and mainstream media just uh, doesn't talk about it. The fact is there's over a thousand parasite organisms out there, and the current testing looks at about, about 40 to 50 of them. So only about 5% of the population. In addition, when you do get parasite testing, or most parasite testing, it only looks about, it only is positive about 20% of the time. So if you do the math, you're looking about 1% of positive um, findings when you do parasite testing in most conventional methods, and therefore it's just not prevalent or, or around. So if you find yourself with a parasite, or if you suspect yourself to have a parasite, you do want to get rid of it as quickly as possible. Symptoms that you may have to, to have a parasite infection could be uh, sugar cravings. Uh, a lot of parasites enjoy eating the food off your body, especially sugar and refined carbohydrates. So if you're finding yourself craving those things like pastas and breads and sugars, you most likely have a parasite living inside of you. Uh, other symptoms could be some nutritional deficiencies. Uh, parasites suck off the cells in the body and so you can find yourself losing B12 for example or iron um, could cause some water retention or even that chronic overall fatigue syndrome a lot of times can be associated with parasites. Now if you have them you want to get rid of them and some of the best ways of get rid of the parasites is using some natural remedies. Certainly medications can be used, but we found that uh, with most individuals they're not as effective and the parasite typically just migrates to a different part of the body or simply just never gets fully killed and then regenerates and uh, you're with the same problem after the round of antibiotics or whatever uh, treatment method they choose to use with you. Better choices to use uh, natural herbs such as um, sweet worm or artemisia, uh, black walnut and cloves, garlic cloves. These are all good killers of parasites. Now in our office we use a combination of things uh, to kill off parasites. We use uh, wormwood or artemisia, oil of oregano or a and a combination product that combines uh, grape seed uh, ex extract, grapes, grape seed extract, um, barberry, um, bearberry, um, black walnut, 
and this is a really good way of getting rid of it. We have our patients do uh, two rounds typically of 30 days each with a two week window between the two and that typically is enough to get rid of most parasites. In addition to the uh, supplement use, we ask them to uh, use a very restricted diet. As I mentioned, a lot of parasites like sugars or refined carbohydrates, so eliminating those for about 60 days is, is key to getting rid of parasites. In fact, a lot of our patients go on a gluten-free diet, a soy-free diet, and we eliminate most cow's milk um, from, their, from their diet, and that just typically allows them to heal a little bit faster um, during that time frame. Now the best way of knowing you have a parasite or making sure the parasite is gone is certainly testing. A lot of natural healthcare practitioners like ourselves um, do this type of lab testing. So if you have someone in your area, I encourage you to seek them out and get a lab test. The importance of that is obviously to identify which parasite you have. And then B, when you're done with the protocol, you can retest to make sure the parasite is gone versus just simply guessing. Um, if you're not able to get testing or that's not your cup of tea, uh, certainly just doing a cleanse a couple times a year may be worth it to you. Uh, certainly if you have animals or you eat meat um, and therefore more susceptible to, uh, to a parasite infection. Um, so anyway, this was uh, hopefully helpful to you um, and information, informational to you about parasites. It might be the missing link to the health struggle that you're experiencing. And if you have any questions or concerns, just please email me or comment below. I'll be happy to get back with you. And until next time, this was Dr. Tunis Jr. guiding you on your hunt for wellness.